Dozens of hotel workers held a day-long rally at the Ilikai over their long-expired contracts. Oahu union employees at the Ilikai say they've fallen behind other hotel workers when it comes to wages and benefits. They chose this Labor Day to let people staying at the hotel know about this inequality. KITV Force Paul Drews joins us now live in Waikiki to tell us more about this day of action. Paul. Well, today is Labor Day, and that's a day normally when workers are celebrated. But these workers at the Ilikai tell me that they feel not only are they not celebrated, but that they're missing out. And so they spent their Labor Day letting people know about it. Among the local five union workers at this rally is Jolie Tokusato, who's been with the Ilikai for more than 30 years. She's been with the hotel during the good times and the bad. At one time, this hotel had gone bankrupt, and so all the employees gave up a lot at that time, including vacation hours, a lot. So now that the you know, now that the business has come back, we expect to have the same things that everybody else has in Waikiki. What she and other workers are asking for is equality with employees at nearby hotels. We just want the Waikiki standard, so meaning that if we do front desk work here and you do it next door at the Hilton, that you get paid the same. You get the same benefits. That's all we're asking, nothing more. According to Local 5, other hotels have contracts with workers, but because it's been five years since Ilikai employees had a contract, they've missed out on an increase in pay, leaving some workers $7 an hour behind what other employees at neighboring hotels make. What do we want? Contract! What do we want? It? No! Union workers let guests at the Ilikai know what's happening to the workers taking care of them during their stay. Negotiations over a contract were held last month, but there's no new talks scheduled right now, according to Local 5. Jolie is currently on leave of absence from her front desk job, but worries what will happen if she has to go back to work without an increase in pay. I don't know what I'd have to do. To, I'd have to get another job, put it that way. Pay is just one of the issues these union members would like to see equal to other hotels. The other is daily room cleaning, which means more guaranteed hours for housekeeping staff. Something resorts like the Hilton Hawaiian Village and the Modern already have. Jolie and these employees feel it's time the Ilikai caught up with the rest of Waikiki. A lot of us have been here for 30, 40 years, you know, and, and we think you should do the right thing and give us the standard, just like everybody else in Waikiki. Now, we did reach out to the management here at the Ilikai to ask them about this five-year-old expired contract. They told me they'd get a statement to us from their PR firm, but we haven't heard yet heard back from them. Meanwhile, both sides did meet at the negotiating table last month, but there's no word yet on when they'll return to the bargaining table once again. Reporting live in Waikiki, Paul Trues, KITV4 Island News.